Hey guys, welcome back to an Operator Mastery for your favorite new operator, Flores, okay? So for all you guys that are new here, we go over the loadout first, we talk about the gadget, how to maximize, you know, what you do with the gadget, and then of course the play style with specifically the gadget, because every single operator in the game has its own little advantage to it, even if you don't directly see it, but with this guy, we definitely directly see it. So let's first talk about the gadget, and the best way to do that is to hop into game, just to explain what it does and how it does it, okay? Okay, so Flores is equipped with the Retera Charge RCE drone. Okay, they are still tweaking with how many of these things he actually gets, so it might change, but for now it's four. But unlike standard drones, this drone deploys and it has a set time. Once that time expires, it is going to go into explosive mode and it can only move forward during this time. So as we deploy it, we are going to get a countdown timer. As you guys can see on the left there, it says eight, seven, six, five and we can never stop it see I'm I'm trying to hit any button to stop it but the only thing it does is turn and go for it okay and once it does engage it creates a nice big boom okay now additionally instead of just you know waiting for the entire timer to start you can of course just hit it and once it does get equipped and turn into a c4 mode it can no longer be shot during the time when it is just driving around like so it is completely revealed and then once you do hit your shoot button or a right trigger, whatever the heck you are on, it is going to bunker down and it will be impossible to kill. Additionally, the RCE is actually capable of sticking on anything. Wherever you jump it onto, it is capable of sticking onto, such as vertical walls, like so. See how it sticks up on there? It'll stick on any surface that you put it on. So this thing is really, really, I actually love this operator and this gadget. I mean, I hate the lack of content that I'm getting from the game, but I love this gadget and operator. It's one of the best ones, or one of the most unique ones we've had in a while. So with that being said, let's go into the loadout. Then I'll hop back into ways that I recommend you guys playing the operator um, as in strategic things you could do other than just the basics. So with floors, you guys have the choice between the AR-33, which is the superior weapon in my opinion, and the SR-25, which is a marksman DMR rifle with 61 damage. But the AR-33 has a whopping 41 damage, 749 fire rate. So it's actually a very, very good weapon with a 2X scope actually. So I like the 2X scope, that's my favorite scope. As for the barrels, I'm still testing around, but flash, hider, and then also a vertical grip on it. You know, you could do the angled grip, of course, if you want to. Vertical grip is great great for players that just don't want to have to focus about the recoil so much personally sometimes i just am not into it sometimes i am this is something i switch between a lot but for safe keeps if you are a newer player i think this is a great great combo for you or if you're just not a really good at controlling recoil this has been working great for me even though i barely get to play foilers because uh the test server is not a good place to try to play a new operator so the handgun you only got the gs818 or gsh18 and then you also have a claymore okay the claymore is interesting i mean a lot of people are going to say take say take the stun but the claymore can be a good play with flores for the reason of it's easy to bait people okay you you put your drone down and they're kind of stuck in the drone for a few seconds even if they get off it takes a few seconds to actually get out of the drone so it's a good way to bait people put a claymore at the door then drive your drone and they'll just run right into you sometimes but stuns for the most part are going to be better except if you find yourself in that exact situation that i just told you guys right then but yeah that's the loadout ar-33 gsh 18 and a claymore or stun grenade but probably a stun grenade so now let's hop into some tips and tricks that i have been using in game that i think are going to be super powerful because flores is the best operator i'm going to say this he is the best operator at clearing out anyone the annoying camper is clear the annoying spots that you've always hated in the game where people can just bunk into a corner clear it out so the first tip i want to give you guys is drone holes okay drone holes are so overpowered now i mean if they don't have a mute a mute is a must pick at this point i'm gonna tell you that mute mozzie those are must picks because of just the sheer amount of things that are coming through the drone holes so the mozzies can at least capture the drones and mute can of course disrupt everything but bandit tricking gets a lot harder whenever there's a anything near this drone hole okay so you have one of your teammates go in there with a normal drone if someone's you know waiting there they're gonna shoot that one but then you come in with your deployed rce drone you just walk on over here and boom you deploy it right and it's gonna explode the wall but the, usually this would be reinforced while you're doing that you're gonna have your thermite right here instantly open up a wall of this size okay so you'll be able to do that easily and that should be an obvious one for pretty much 
everyone, okay? The next thing I've been doing a lot is after I drone out a room, since I have normal drones as well, I'll use my normal drone, see if someone's in a cheeky corner. For example, if someone is behind a shield right here where they're holding a little glitch spot to the door, something where I just can't get in. Um, for example, master bedroom, I can't get into construction. Oh, well, usually you're just like, well, I'm just gonna go challenge and see what happens, I guess. Or if someone's like in a corner here, can see the crossfire. The easiest thing to do in this situation now is to get your drone out and drive it to wherever they are. Now, if this person's in this corner, for example, you could have your teammate just waiting right here. Then once you deploy your drone, drive it over to him, okay? Like so, deploy it. This guy's gonna cr run across, right? And your teammate has the freest kill of their life. So that is the number one bait way to do it. The second way is of course destroying gadgets. So this would be an example where there's like a shield there and a capkin trap and all this BS that you have to go through. Just jump right over it, boom. As you can see, this operator is actually golden, okay? This operator is so darn good. I love it. Um, and there's just so many ways to play it. I mean, I, I showed you guys three different things right there. But my favorite thing to do with it is just screw people over, okay? As in, like, people in a corner here, you, you really are just destroying campers. If someone's sitting here just behind this box, you do that. They run across. They die by crossfire from your teammate just like that another thing is destroying gadgets as we are theoretically saying since i can't actually play this operator ever in game but there's a deployable shield here with a capkin trap with a frost mat under it okay all that stuff you destroy it all in one bang so this operator is actually the best operator we've had in a while for the 20 second meta and just the utility meta in general because you could just destroy so much utility. Usually people like to set up here with a Jaeger and barbed wire. Well, you are down here and all you do is just destroy it, okay? You just jump your drone up here, destroy it, and now all of that is gone plus the person's gone so you have a chance to just rush upstairs and get going in to their objective. So hopefully if you guys don't know anything about Flora's this helped. If not, then hopefully at least opened your eyes to some other little alternative strategies that you can implement into your game today. If you did enjoy, leave a like and check out the rest of this playlist. This playlist is massive. I'm telling you guys, this goes back so far. I mean, the early ones, they're good on the information. I know that the commentary is very even more monotone than it is now. I just have a monotone voice, but it's gotten better, but if you go back to those first videos ever, those are a little rough, but the information is good. It's golden if you guys need to learn any of those operators. So, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.